Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you a heads up because I'm going to be back in the classroom, I promise, but it'll be a while. Um, so let's, let's check this out. I'm going to um, make myself smaller and I'm going to present this slideshow. So I will be back. Um, January. Um, I had my surgery on my foot and I'm pretty much just hanging out on the couch. I'm not very exciting. I'd rather be in there with you guys. I really love you a lot. Like, I really do. Like, it's, you have no idea how painful this is for me. But I will be back in January and you better believe it. And I am totally paying attention to what's going on because I have really nothing better to do. <laughs> And I really miss you. So let's go check out more in the slideshow. So January, I will be back. So this means December. So today is Monday, the 6th. And winter break starts on the 21st, which means that we have two weeks, just 10 school days left. And so that might seem like a lot, but it's really not that much. So just remember to always Take it one day at a time. Every day now is today. Today is the way to do it. So just day by day. We'll get through it. I know we can do it. So, which reminds me of a story I want to tell you. Let's say that you went to McDonald's, right? And you really, really love their chicken nuggets. You love them so much. And, you know, you just got a job. And you're like, I'm going to spend my money on chicken nuggets. I love chicken nuggets. I got this great new job. I'm making a lot of money. These chicken nuggets are very cheap for me right now. And eventually I'm going to be eating somewhere nicer. But I really love those chicken McNuggets. And, you know, and then you're like in love. You know, your family is doing great. Everything is doing wonderful. Your friendships are doing fabulous. And there you are, you're sitting at McDonald's, really enjoying the McNuggets, knowing that you're doing pretty well. And the music is playing, and it's really nice, and you actually like the music that's playing at McDonald's today for some reason. They got some really kicking beats, and you're like, dang, that's nice. You're sitting there, eating your McNuggets, counting your money, and you're like thinking about everyone who's around you, because you're loving them, and you're having a great conversation with them. And you're just eating and eating, and those are the best nuggets ever. Like, they were just cooked, and they were just so perfect. Like, you know, sometimes you might end up with a dry nugget, but none of these are dry. None of them are gross. They're really wonderful, and they smell so good. You know, and you're just enjoying yourself, paradise, and everything like that. And then suddenly, huh, there's a toe in your McNugget. A toe. Now you've totally forgotten everything else. It doesn't matter that you got everything else. All you can think of is there is a nasty toe in your nugget. The whole experience is gone. You're having a wonderful time, and now suddenly, boop, toe in my nugget. So I just want to remind all of you, don't be the toe. And what I mean is that, you know, a lot of people are working really hard. They're trying not their hardest. And I know this is really hard, you know, but... It's making things difficult when people are having a hard time following directions, um, not being really loud. And so please don't be that loud toe that is ruining what could be really wonderful. Because I know this class, all my periods, they're all wonderful individuals. I love talking to every single one of you as an individual. You're beautiful people. We have so much to contribute. And I miss you a lot. That's why I really miss being in the classroom. And so the thing is, though, there are these guest teachers there. And I don't want them to think of any of you as a toe, all right? So don't be that toe. And so you're like, well, then, how can I not be the toe? How could I be the money? How could I be the, the love? How could I be the, the music that makes it more comfortable? How could I be the tasting McNugget. Like, what could I do? Well, I'm glad you asked that. 
Because you see, let's remember our five expectations of the class, which is the first is just be here. You know, I know it's hard. The past is gone, but try to be here in the classroom. You know, contribute your ideas. Try not to think about other things that are going on. I know it can be hard. Life is tough. Things are crazy. You are in middle school and the, the pandemic is going on and all sorts of other crazy, kooky things that I have no idea about are just going on in your home or elsewhere, maybe during lunch. I don't know. Lots of crazy stuff. But just try to be here now. Try to think calm. Breathe in, breathe out. Be here. Be now. And you know what? You're also working with people that maybe you don't always want to do. Just be flexible. You know that things are going to change. You might have a different guest teacher today than tomorrow and maybe the next day or maybe within the same day. Maybe that it just changed right there in the middle of the period. But just try to be flexible. Compromise, you know. Don't let things... You no, know, stand your ground. Like don't don't let yourself get hurt. But try to be understanding and be willing to flex. You know, like you're only in here for one class period a day, only one. It's not your universe. You know what I mean? It's gonna be done. So just be flexible, right? And then hang in there. Be patient. You know, listen to everybody. Don't try to be in a rush. Just. Let everyone talk. Be patient with me. Be patient with the fact that I'll be gone. Be patient with the, the substitute teacher. Be patient with your peers. It's a hard time. Just hang in there, though. Don't give up. Just be patient. Look at that Corgi. He's hanging in there. So can you. And then be inclusive. Try to hear from everyone in your group and just everyone in general. You know, make sure everyone feels welcome. Don't exclude anyone. Especially like right now, I'm not even there. And so people might feel isolated. And so, and including the teacher who's in, right there in front of you. Try to hear them, listen to them. They're in a space that's not their comfort zone. That's your comfort zone. Even if you don't feel that comfortable, that's your space. They're in your den. So you gotta like make them feel welcome and be inclusive. And then everyone else is also in there. It's a small space. You got to be really inclusive. Make sure everyone feels feels welcome. And then be brave. You know, don't be timid. Don't shut down. Don't explode trying to stop things. Just, just share. Just be brave. Do something different, you know, that's helping the group. Just really be brave. Like, look at that dog. It's trying new things. He's on a skateboard, bro. Look at that. That's really cool. So, remember, please sit. In your right correct seat. So here's first period seating chart. You're usually pretty good about this, so I, I, I really don't want to have to do too much to talk about it, but look at that. That's where you all sit. Right there. Right? Remember that. I know where you sit. The substitute teacher knows where you sit. That's where you sit. Try to stay in your seat. Try not to walk around, move around too much. Just try to be there. Here's third period. You know where you go. Check that out. You know it. You know where you're supposed to be. So please, please sit where you're supposed to. You can sit anywhere in this table group, but you have to be in that table group. Please, you know this. And the same thing with fourth period. They know where you're supposed to be. This is the seating chart. All right? Don't mess around with it. If you don't like where you're sitting, because sometimes it's really hard, go find a table where you can sit by yourself. But don't distract other people from doing their work. And then finally, this says first period, but it's actually fifth period. This is fifth period seating, so please, just go where you're supposed to be. Try to stay in your seat. Try to do your work. Please. You can do this. I know you can. So, just, just be the best you can be. All right, guys. I know you got this. All right. And I'll see you in January. Bye.